Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we're going to show you how to use Google AdWords to promote your YouTube videos. Now, this is the follow-up to a video we created showing you how to create YouTube promotions, which are, are ads that are created right in YouTube. And they work fine, but they're not very granular. This gives you more uh, capacity to select the target market that you want, and most importantly, how to set cost per click. In other words, how much money you're spending per click. That's a big deal for us. So let's get to it. Uh, by the way, we'll put a link to the other video in the uh, top right hand corner. So to create a promotion for your video using Google, it's pretty straightforward. Go to google.com slash AdWords. Just bring up a new tab and do that. Sign in. If you don't already have an account, it will prompt you to create one. Uh, go to campaigns, which is where it's defaulted here. Click the plus. Click New Campaign, and here we want to create a campaign without goals or guidance. Continue, and this is just a little wizard that runs us through everything. So now what we want to do is create a video promotion, or promotion for our video, I should say. And what are we looking for? Video views, efficient reach, target frequency, blah, blah, blah. You might be tempted to go down and select YouTube subscriptions and engagements, but if you do that, this Google AdSense form doesn't give you the options you're probably looking for. In particular, uh, what it's trying to do then is tie you into the channel versus the video. That's really what this is saying. Video views is about this video and video subscriptions and engagements is about the channel. If you select this, it makes it a lot more complex. You have to set up, I think it's five videos. You need keywords, it's a pain. Just set up video views for the purpose of your first campaign and play with it first. It's much simpler and easier to work with. So let's click on video views and click continue. And campaign name, we're just gonna run through the wizard here, but there's a catch coming up that you'll see in a minute. So what uh, do we wanna call this? Well, I can call it anything you want. I'm gonna call this YouTube promo two. By the way, yes, you can have spaces in it. I just don't like it because I'm a tech and I'm not used to having spaces and names. So bid strategy, this is locked because of the type of campaign that we chose and that's okay. So let's go down here, budgets and dates, enter the, uh, the type, let's go with a daily amount and I want it to be $1 per day. Oh, we don't have to have it end, but I'll just set it to end in one month. There we go, it's nice and simple. Networks, where do we want this to play? Do we want it to play on the uh, Google Display Network? Now, I've talked with Google staff about this before, and they often sort of whisper, turn this off, it's not very good, it's not very effective. Uh, I'll leave it on for the purpose of this video, but you may want to turn it off and just have it show up on YouTube. So, uh, but let's leave it for now. Where do we want it to show? Well, you might just want it in your country. In my case, you can see by default, it's come up with all kinds of countries because I've entered these in the past. But let's say I didn't want this to show in Austria for some reason. I can just click on Austria and get rid of it. And if I wanted to add it back in, I just type it in. But here's the granularity part. I can drill this down to uh, individual cities or regions, but get this, I can even put it down to the US zip code 90210 and it'll rip it right down to that uh, code, which is pretty cool. You can also put it down to a Canadian postal code. This is where my parents used to live. I can rip it right down to this rural part of Southern Ontario. In my case, I want this to be in these countries, but you will almost certainly want to edit this and change it to whatever is appropriate for you. Languages, yes, it's English. Now this is the catch right here, where it says multi-format videos or multi-format ads, take that check mark off because if you don't, you'll need to fill out a bunch of stuff below that'll drive you crazy. We are done creating the campaign. Now we're down to creating the ad group. So we're working, start at the top campaign, then ad group, then ad. So now we're into the ad group, let's go into that. And we can call this anything we want. You could leave it as it is. I'm gonna call this YouTube AG2, but you can call it whatever you want or just leave it. Audience. Who do you want to watch this? In my case, I want everybody to watch this. YouTube will serve this video up to people it thinks will be interested. So it's not just gonna go out to randos, it'll go out to whoever. But in your case, you might need something more specific. You might say, I want it only to go to people that are 55 plus, and I only want it 
to people that are parents. And note that 18 is the youngest age here. Why is that? Because you get into YouTube Kids otherwise, and Google gets in trouble for that. So if you've got kids stuff, it's a separate issue. Okay, so I, I, I want this to go to everybody, but you may want to pin it down. Let's get rid of that. Do I want to add in any interests? So people that are vegan or people that have desktop computers or whatever. No, not for me, but you may want to. Now for keywords, what is it that we want to index on? Now it says here, enter a related website. Well, I'm actually just going to put the video in. And remember that YouTube has already converted your video into text, so it knows exactly what you've said. It's also going to consider the actual text in your description. So let's just do that and press enter. And it will, co yeah, there it is. It's come up with a whole bunch of things that are related. I'm going to type in my words in here. That being said, you don't have to put anything in here. Google's pretty good and YouTube's pretty good at figuring this stuff out. But I'll blast a few keywords in here. So there are a few keywords that I've typed in. Just gives uh, it a little bit of assistance. But over on the right here, you can see that this number has been changing as we've been talking. And you can see that this number just changes as time goes on. That's enough for uh, this conversation. Let's get Get rid of that. Uh, topics, same kind of thing. All right, so let's get rid of that. And topics, uh, same sort of thing. Any particular subject. You can click on these little uh, question marks. They'll tell you a little bit more about it. And just keep watching this number over here. So well, that's enough for the purpose of this conversation. Placements, where do you want it to show? Everywhere is just fine <laughs> for me. Now we have finished the campaign. We have finished the ad group, and now we're getting down to what you actually care about, the ad itself. So which video are we talking about? Well, uh, what you'll need to do is go to your YouTube channel, click on your videos, and find the video in question. So in this one, we're just going to play with this little guy here. So click on that link to get your video link, then go back to your campaign and paste it in. And here's another little catch you're probably going to say, okay, what do I do now? I'll just click on the first thing. And then you're kind of in hell. You've got lots of stuff to set up. Probably don't do that. If you click the question, it'll tell you a little bit more about it. What you probably want is in-feed video ad. And it, this used to be called video discovery. So these are the things that show up in searches and other stuff like that. That is what I want anyway. Now, what headline do we want on this? I'm just going to use the stuff from the video itself. So I'm going to uh, copy paste. You'll notice that the headline has uh, up to 100 characters, but the actual ad does not. You can click here and see what it will look like in different formats. On television, it's going to look like that. You get the idea? Something I shouldn't have skipped is what thumbnail do you want to use? I want to use the thumbnail that I already created, which is this guy here. Now the description will show up down here, and you've only got 35 characters times two. So what do you want to put in here? And I can tell you what you want to put in is keywords. So put in keywords. How to, because that's already in the subject line. Don't need the word the. I'm going to get rid of all of that. There we go. Can I fit the word Android in? I can't. So I'm going to get rid of that. There we go. And you might say, well, that's not proper English. People that are looking at these ads, yeah, they're not reading them. They're skimming them. So just keep putting keywords in. And what do we want to call this ad? Ad number one, clever name. That's actually fine for what I want. Now we get into the good stuff. Cost per view. This is what I care about, the cost per click. I'm not going to make much at that video, if anything at all. So I don't want to put a lot of money into it. But I did put some time into it, and I just as soon have, it, have some people watch it. So I want the cost per view to be no more than, let's say, three cents per click. Ridiculously low. And it says, oh, your ad campaign is less than 15 cents. That's too low. Yeah, I didn't really care. Thanks. Uh, create campaign. Now all we have to do is wait for Google to approve it, which they will do because there's nothing controversial in here. So but, oh, just by the way, it takes usually, um, it says one to two days. It usually takes an hour, maybe two, maybe three for them to uh, process these. So these will, this will come up pretty quick. So let's go back to our campaigns. And on the left here, and you might say, well, didn't you have other campaigns? Yes, I did. That's because the filter up here is blocking them. So I just want to go back to all campaigns. There we go.
And uh, the one I created the other day was YouTube videos campaign. There we go. Buck a day. Oh my, but it's limited by budget. Yeah, that's the whole idea. And I've had 334 people look at this video. It's cost me $3 so far. Pretty good deal. I can click on it. And uh, now I'm into the ad group right here. And if I click on that, it'll drill me down to the ad. And there's only one ad in here. Back at the ad group level, I could go into settings. And I could change things like my maximum bid. Same thing with campaigns. I can go into the campaign and I can click the cog and I can set all kinds of parameters here. So that's it. Hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We'd super appreciate it. If you have any questions or concerns, you can get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will, because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.